Hi guys, welcome to day one of the Hardcore Iron Man race to 1000 total level versus Mikeru. Uh, you're about to see Dylan the Goon's perspective of this challenge for day one. And right off the bat, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I also want to say bear with me if you can, because I am very new to making these types of videos, very new to making RuneScape videos. I've made other videos in the past, such as like funny moments videos, montages like that. So... This is definitely a different style for me, a different process, so I'm still getting used to it, so it's probably not going to be the best video in the world, but I am going to be learning with every recording session, getting better with every recording session, getting better at editing these, so hopefully you end up liking them more and more as the day goes on. But this is day one. We're going to make some good progress. I explained a little bit more of what we're going to be doing in the video once we actually get started. So thank you guys for being here again. Hopefully you will tune into both my crew and my videos and streams for the next few days. And uh, eventually see who becomes victorious. Hopefully your team goon as well, because we're trying our hearts out. And yeah, thank you guys for being here again, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, hi everybody, how you doing? Uh, this is day one of Dylan the Goon's perspective of the Dylan the Goon versus Micro 1K race, or 1K total level race on a hardcore Iron Man. Uh, like I said in Micro's chat before he ended, I am, I'm quite the underdog, because Mike is kind of known for his guides and everything. I just started streaming RuneScape three months ago. I've been playing since I was in third grade, but I took a lot of breaks, so I'm not amazing at the game. Not quite a micro, but I'm confident that I can, uh, I can make some progress. Hopefully I can get to a, a point where it's just slightly, uh, just slightly over or close to where he is. If I can hit 400 total level, that'll be amazing. But we'll see. We'll see. For now, we're just chilling, waiting for uh, 7 o'clock to hit, so about 10 minutes, and then we can start. So we're just going to chill and talk for a bit. So we do have a spreadsheet kind of like his, but I, it's not his, obviously. Um, we have our goals and everything. So the, begin the very beginning of our, our spreadsheets and our like goals are very similar, like get food, fishing and cooking levels, obviously. Uh, we're starting with uh, Fight Arena. Uh, Mikeru stopped like the normal training a little bit faster, or a little bit earlier. Uh, we had planned for a certain, we actually have a certain level cap that we're going for, and then we're going to start questing, which uh, we'll, we'll get into that once we actually get started with everything. So hopefully those, those level caps, we're going to be training a little bit longer, and we do have a pretty decent line of quests to uh, set up to do, so hopefully we can speed through those relatively quickly. Um, yeah, we're gonna, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be interesting. We're almost ready to go here, almost ready to go, a few more minutes. Oh god, Era's already here waiting for me. Oh no. The beginning is going to be very similar because we all have to do the, so the same sort of thing and we all have to kind of make our way and make sure we're ready for these quests. But then uh, as as the time goes on, we're going to end up kind of working in different directions, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. All right, it's time to get going. We are starting off with just some, some fishing, some good old fishing. Actually, I think what we're going to do first is grab a... Uh, we're going to grab a Wicked Hood for later on. Just to be safe. We are going to get a Dungeoneering Ring, but I'm not going to grab one right now. I'll grab one in a bit. Because we're not going to really need it while we're fishing. Oh, where's the runecrafting person? They're up here, right? Why do heck? Am I already lost? No, yeah, I, I know where he is, I think. Or Oh, yeah, it's this guy. Jesus. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're just going to bank this and head over and start fishing and cooking. I also want to make a pair of leather gloves while I'm here, because we're going to need it for a quest coming up. And it'll save a little bit of time. Let's just dump all this in the bank. Yay, achievements for using the bank, dude! And hopefully we can we can beat up Mikeru, who is... He, he does this for a living, essentially, so it's gonna be rough, but we'll see. First level, by the way. We are now 37 total level. We're already almost there. Only, we just have to multiply that by 100 and add 30, and we'll be above Mikeru. We can do this. We can do this. I'm like, uh, I think I'll just... I think I'll cook them and then bank them, rather than banking and then cooking. I'm not entirely sure if that's better or not, but we're gonna see. Cook that. We got a cooking level. We got a cooking level. Hopefully we don't do we don't burn too many of these. We've already burned four of them, which isn't fantastic because we do want some food. Another cooking level. We're up to three. 40 total. We're not going to actually do waterfall off the bat. We're going to grab some uh, some other combat levels first just to make it a little safer because we are a hardcore Iron Man. So we don't want to uh, we don't want to waste or we don't want to risk too much because if we die, then we just have to start a new account and waste time making a new account. Or just forfeit right there, but that, that would make it for a, a trash challenge. So I'm just going to try to be a little bit safer. 
Wow, we do we got like almost half an inventory of food left or er, together. I like it. I like it. I know you can get potions and tally tabs from that one guy. Once I get some uh, mage and range levels, I'm gonna grab uh, the pair of leather gloves just for one pair for future. And then we're gonna. I don't know why I just walked away from that. We're still fishing. The level threw me off. Five fishing, by the way. And there's twenty cooking right there. Poggers, everybody. Twenty cooking. Now we just need 20 fishing, and then we'll move on to the uh, the normal training. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. We have 150, which will be fine, but one of my goals was to get to 20 so we can end up using those levels later on and not have to train it uh, at a lower level before we end up doing those higher level training methods. Yeah, so I'm going to be slightly, slightly ignorant to most of the stuff that Iron Man can and can't do. Maybe not most of the stuff, but like some of the stuff that Iron Man can and can do. Just due to the fact that I've never actually played one before. I am going to be slightly fucked. <laughs> just slightly. So let's head up here. Because that probably- I don't want to just fish and cook for the first hour. While it was getting me levels, it wasn't going to get me where I wanted to be. Let's take one of these. Uh, might as well take one of those as well. And is there anything else that you have for me for free? No. Okay. We're headed to the trolls now to get some uh, get some quick levels. Hopefully they'll drop some sort of staff that I can use to just kind of train up some mage levels a little bit. And then we can uh, get those up as far as we can to then start doing some quests so we're not completely uh, completely useless. Air spike please, dude, I hope so. Right off the bat, mages, perfect. I honestly should have brought more food, but we'll see what happens. Staff of air right off the bat, perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Let's wield that. Actually, what kind of abilities do we have? We have this. Can I? Oh, this is locked. Duh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Already racking up the XP. Hopefully these drop some seeds and some armor for us so we don't have to worry about getting hit too bad. We're already two magic as well, which is absolutely perfect. We're also 19 or 20 magic, actually. So what I might do is hop over and change it to defense here if I can find where. Combat mode, let's... Combat XP, rather. Magic XP, switch that over to defense. Turn off magic. Let's grab 20 defense real quick. Super quick, actually, because we can uh, pretty much one-hit these every time. And so, while we start doing quests as well, there is the 100 total level that we were talking about. If we, Once we start doing quests as well, we should be able to get, hopefully, upwards... I feel like we'll end today around 350 total level, if not a little bit higher than that. I do have a feeling we're going to be slightly under Micro because he did do some farming and whatnot, and that wasn't in the plan. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to end this at, at 395 total level, and you're going to be at 396 because of that one farming level, dude. Or maybe, maybe that farming time you spent, uh, maybe that, sp that time you spent doing farming was uh, your downfall, you know? Maybe that's going to be the deciding factor of all of this. Yeah, I definitely kind of wasted some some inventory space here by bringing food because I really didn't need it, especially because of how much they drop food. I'll pick up those guams for later on. Now we have the defense level we need, so now we can switch on over and do combat XP. Switch back over to magic. And get 30 for surge. Let's hope this is worth it. Dude, we've been... Grinding, Miami, we've been grinding. We're going for 30 mage right now, so we have Surge for the quests. Once we get 30 mage, we're gonna do... Um, we're gonna do Fight Arena. And then we're going to do Waterfall Quest. After getting some more food. Or better food, rather, because we can steal from the cake stall from the Thieving XP we get from Fight Arena. Hopefully, grabbing this 30 uh, magic before the quest won't hurt us too much. I think for these last two, I might head into the magic uh, magic ones just to get a chance at a Mind Spike. So let's go do that. Let's get us a Mind Spike. Just for a little bit more damage. There's 29 magic. I really want a Mind Spike here, please. Pretty please. We've got 134 total level right now. My crew finished his day with 396. Hopefully we can remember to get all the lodestones that we need as well. Because we do have a fat stack of quests lined up. If we can get through all of them... I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. Please just give me a Mind Spike, you hookers. I honestly might go a little bit over 30 just for a Mind Spike. To be safe. Also, any rabbit sandwiches on there? Oh, Mind Spike! Shick! Shick! Wow, Dylan, speak English. 
Oh my god, did it just despawn? Wait, was it there the whole time? Oh no, dude. I gotta keep going. That... It was like glitched into the ground. I didn't see it. No. No. That That is traumatizing right there. Absolutely traumatizing. I literally saw it. Alright, I just have to move on then. I'll do a... I'll maybe start Rune Mysteries just to get the Mind Spike. How long does it take to get the Mind Spike while starting Rune Mysteries? There's a lot of stuff that I'm wasting time on that I completely forget about. Which is going to be my downfall, I guarantee it. Oh, cutscene. Right, let's grab this Mind Spike. Uh, it's honestly not that much damage. Not, not that much more, but... So we just got to safe spot this. Hopefully it doesn't hit me. Let me out before it gets on me, please. Oh, it's going to kill Justin. Or it's going to attack Justin first. Let's back her up real quick. Head over here. Nope. Stay there. Nope. Stay there. There we go. And now comes the long, long fight. Look at all this DPS, dude. Wow. Look at it. There we go. Nice 316 on him. And now we've got the Scorpy boy. Right? And then after I kill the dog, I can just run away. Nice little scorpion here. It's already hitting me, which is fantastic. Let's uh, not have it do that. Oh, it ranges. Excuse me. Oof. There we go. Now let's move over here. Bouncer. Oh no, don't run there. Run here. Nope. Where are you going? Nope. I hate that it's not an auto attack. That hurt. That hurt real bad. I hate that it's a right click attack. That screwed me over so many times already. Literally didn't hit once with that asphyxiate. This is going to be fun. So we're now at 29 attack. Finished fight cave. Or fight arena rather. Not fight caves. Jeez, I don't want to think about fight caves right now. But we finished fight caves. I just said it again. We finished fight arena. <laughs> Got 29 attack. Now we're going to head over. And 14 thieving. We're going to head over and steal some cakes. Get some better food. Um, and then... Head off and do Waterfall, and then after Waterfall, we're going to do Murder Mystery for the crafting levels it gives you, just for a nice little boost to our, uh, our total level. So let's find these stalls real quick and get on with these cake stealing, and then use the amulet on the Statue of Galerio. Left rumble beneath, and then use the urn on the chalice of eternity. There we go. Bunch of levels, 36 attack, 30 strength, still 20 defense, and 30 mage. We are 216 total level though. We reached the 200 milestone, which is pretty good, not too bad. So now, let's go, next quest. Let's see what we can do. Should be quest complete. There we go. There's 11 crafting right there. We're at 226 total level. That was a relatively quick one that we got done. So now that we're done with Murder Mystery, let's head over and uh, quickly do a Druidic Ritual. Uh, maybe not a Recruitment Drive. Should I do a Recruitment Drive or should I do the Grand Tree? I know the Grand Tree would be useful, but I don't know if we still have time. I think we should do Grand Tree just to get it done and get those early levels. The options we have right now are Recruitment Drive, Mountain Daughter, and Grand Tree. Grand Tree probably has the biggest XP drop out of all of them, so it could be the most useful, possibly. Hello, King! You seem worried. What's up? Oh, down here. Okay. Okay. We gotta fight! Open the trap door. Gotta get ready to go to the south wall behind the safe spot. Hello? Right over here. I don't like cutscenes like this because I can't, like, uh... Alright, let's go this way. Ouch! Now fight him! Y'all ready for the splashes? Hopefully this doesn't take me ten years like the last one did. We're so close. 
And after this one, after this quest, uh, I think we'll work towards Holy Grail just to get that 11k prayer XP. And then after that, maybe focus on either some more prayer XP, because we have some quests lined up for that as well. Or maybe recruit recruitment drive, because that also gives some good XP. First, we have to kill this thing. Hopefully soon. It's only got 200 XP, 200 HP left, so hopefully we can uh, make it out of here alive and not die in real life of old age before we kill this thing, but we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, okay. We also killed him! We killed him finally, dude! Oh my god, that feels so good to finally beat him. Oh my god. Okay, 31 mage, by the way. Pretty good, pretty good. And the levels, please? Should be a decent amount of agility levels, I believe. Once we use these lamps. Ooh, okay, um, let's use it in range, yeah. Range or HP? Let's do range just for the total level boost. 287 total level, I like it, dude. We're also 32 combat, so we've got some nice levels, dude. Let's head up, we're at 287, we have to get... Ooh, uh, I don't know, dude. We have about an hour and 20 minutes to get like a hundred total level just to catch up to him. So we'll have to do some progress here. We have to make some progress. We will be getting some, some prayer levels relatively soon. King Arthur, how's it going, dude? Where you at? There you are. Let's get these done super quick. So I might have some time for this, for some other stuff. Oh yeah, I guess let's do the cash first. I still have to go to Fowler anyways, it doesn't matter. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna be a we're gonna be a bit behind. We're gonna be a bit behind. I made too many mistakes today. Let's chop down these trees while we're waiting for the cache. I think we'll also hop worlds. Oh, that's not that's not what I thought it was. Probably also hop worlds because we are in world 64 and I don't want to be here for a cache, so let's see. Three fire making, by the way. 290 total level as well. Let's chop down some trees while we're still waiting. One more minute until these rocks go in the hole. Let's hope they do it relatively fast. F uh, three wood cutting as well. Hurry! I literally need one more XP for uh, another wood cutting level, so I'm gonna go grab that. For the fire making level as well. Solid little eight levels there, just waiting for the cash, so we're not wasting anything. Let's stop, actually. Oh, here we go. Let's crash quick before this guy does. I wonder how many points we can get, even though we can only do the, the late level ones, or the early level ones, I mean. Hopefully, we get some two times points things. How much time we got left? Perfect. Hit him with the two times. One, two, smack! One, two, smack. Let's get going. Uh, we're going to decrez. All right, let's go up here. Please, Krez. Thank you. One thing I have gotten pretty decent at is caches. So hopefully we can make this at least kind of worthwhile. We're already almost at 50 points, which isn't bad at all. Ooh, I don't like this. Please come my way. Actually, I can sneak through here. We're good. Perfect. I think, I think we'll have it. It's just gonna be hard to get by it without the immunity. We'll have to find an opening for a surge. Oh, right through here, dude. Right through here. Go, 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 go. Oh, no! No, dude! Okay. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. No, get the small ones, dude. The small ones. There we go. That surge was gonna be so clutch if we got it. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Thank you. One more, dude, just one more. I think, yeah, we definitely have time for this. It's just a matter of me sneaking through these crezes. Okay, let's see here. Go for it. Surge. Yes. There we go. 100 points, dude. Let's leave. That gets us. 17 levels, dude. Pogs. Pogs. That's nice. That's real nice. That 100 points is pretty clutch. That brings us up over 300 uh, total level. Micro ended almost at 400, so we are behind, but we still have uh, about an hour left to get that 11k prayer XP from... Dude, if only I did 200. I know, dude. If only I did 200 points in that in that cache, we would have been balling, dude. That's why I'm glad I'm good at caches. I should have done one earlier. I honestly should have done one earlier, but we, we have time tomorrow. We have time tomorrow. But we still have time to get that 11k prayer XP to get us some prayer levels as well. Hopefully that doesn't take us too long. And then after that, I don't know where I'm going, honestly. Oh, we need to go to... We need to go this way. As long as I can get that, uh... 
11k XP from the Holy Grail, I should be even closer. I don't know how much, how many levels that's going to get me. It's going to be pretty, pretty close. And I, yeah, I am going to actually mine some Brewing Essence after that in order to get some quick levels because that'll also allow me to get, um, that'll also allow me to get, uh, some room crafting later on to just, um, supply my, my mage spells when I need them. King, my lord, my lord. Thank you. Short to medium, perfect. That's what we need. Ooh, did I never grab the lodestone in Porcerim? I didn't. Oof. Okay, we can just go from Falador. Oh, open the gate, you stupid. We have 45 minutes to finish this quest, which is more than enough time, as long as I don't make any stupid mistakes. Let's just run up here. Oh, I don't have my surge on this bar. Nice surge, Dylan. Yeah. Wow. Your father wishes to speak with you. Wait until father hears about this. Oh, no. Where have you been, Percival? Wasting your time in those sacks of Goblin Village? I sentence you to three years of grounding. Three years, nothing less. No, you can't go play with your fancy little knight of the round table. You are grounded. No sword practice for a week. At least. Right, let's go talk to the Fisher King. Oh, we got it. Okay, quickly back to Sears Village. And then we'll be done with this quest. We've got 11k XP. And then we have 20 minutes to do some mining. So we got to make sure we get that done quick. With three C's. That many, that quick, dude. That quick. Three C's worth of quick. Almost as quick as Bisquick and Nesquick, but not quite as quick as, like, Keemstar. Not quite as fast as Keemstar, but faster than a, than a fighter jet, honestly. There we go. With defense XP as well. I didn't even realize I gave defense XP. We are 347 total level, so let's quickly uh, head to Burthorpe. Ooh, we can catch up. We can catch up a little bit. We won't be too far behind. I didn't realize we we're going to get defense levels for that, too. That also gave us 25 prayer levels, something like that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. So let's grab our Wicked Hood and head off to do some Rune Essence Mining. I really hope this guy can teleport me and I don't have to do a quest for it. Thank God. Okay. Oh, what's Micro? I thought you were saying, where's Micro? Oh, uh, Micro is at 396 total levels. So we'll be relatively close, but not completely there yet. There is definitely some stuff that we had on day one that we didn't get to do that I do want to do on uh, day two to start off besides the dailies and the, uh, there you go, besides the dailies and the uh, uh, stuff like caches and whatnot. Besides that, there is some quests that I didn't get to do today that I wanted to, so we'll have to see if we can finish those come the end of tomorrow. I might do this and just grab a level of each. Can I even reach that tree from here? I don't know if I can. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to risk it. We have two minutes left. I want to at least get one more fire making level. Please just burn it. Nope. 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 Take logs. Bonfire. And also I have one minute left. One minute. Once it hits five o'clock, I have to end it. We did hit 371 total level, which is poggers, dude. Absolutely amazing. We did pretty good. We didn't do the best that we wanted to do, but we did all right. Hopefully we can grab maybe a wood cutting level before the minute turns. Chop the tree fast, please. Oh, hurry up, dude. Okay, one more. I think this might be the last tree we can get. I don't think it's going to get us a level, though. How has it not been five yet? This is so... Oh, I'm just staring at the clock. Okay, I have to click off. That's all we can do for today. 371 total level, 39 combat, 24 quest points. Let me just get rid of all of these things here. We made good progress. We made very good progress. We are still behind, though, by 25 levels? 25 levels. Which we can get with some quick quests uh, tomorrow. I'd say that's respectable. I'd say that's very respectable. We did decent. We did decent. Considering Micro, he's, like, known for his guides on YouTube, and he makes fantastic content doing that, and he's really good at the game, and he's really smart. He has a bunch of max accounts. Considering I got even within 25 levels of him today, I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good for somebody that just plays the game casually and does quests on stream. <laughs> I'd say we did pretty good, all right? So, uh, yeah. 
All right, guys, so that is the end of day one of the race to 1K total level against Mikeru. And we didn't make as much progress. Actually, no, sorry. We made more progress than I thought we were going to do. We didn't come as close to Mikeru's as I wanted to once we started, but we did get to 371 total level. Mikeru ended at 396. That means there's a 25 level gap. Uh, that's pretty small at this level. We still have a lot of skills at level 1, a lot of quests to do, a lot of XP to get, and that gap can be closed very quickly. Even if I just make less mistakes than I made today, like stop uh, going to the wrong places, stop forgetting lodestones, um, just all of those things that I messed up today, if I can fix those, get both caches, all that kind of stuff, then I feel like we'll be able to close the gap pretty well here, and I feel like we'll be able to make this a closer game than it already is. So... Uh, as of right now, I will put my stats on the screen either here or here. I'm not sure. Um, just so you can see a nice little picture of what we've got rolling with so far, as well as my combat level, quest points, all that kind of stuff. Tomorrow, or rather today, if you're watching this on Friday, uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, if you want to tune in to watch, uh, we will be starting off probably uh, not with quests, with some other stuff that we have planned. And then we're going to go into the quest and go hard, not make mistakes, make sure we have all the items we need. And we're going to get going with it. We're going to finish the heck out of those quests. Get that XP. Get rolling with the gains. And hopefully catch up to my crew. And yeah, this is going to be an interesting competition. I had a ton of fun today. I did make a lot of mistakes, like I said earlier. But those can be fixed. I can, I can capitalize on some more opportunities that we have coming up. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the streams. If not, hopefully I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Before the next stream tomorrow. And yeah, thank you guys again. Uh, make sure to check out Micro's stream and Micro's channel. Links will be in the description. Same with links to my Discord, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitch channel, all that kind of stuff where you can find me literally anywhere. So if you want to stick around and see what I'm doing in my life or just catch some streams, rather whether it's the challenge or not, I appreciate it. But yeah, welcome to the Goon Tribe. Hopefully we can pull this off. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.